Suppose that x has a distribution of mean mean mu equal thirty. And sigma, our standard population standard deviation, is equal to five. A. If a random sample of size n is equal to forty, then we want to find the following. So probability that the um, now realize what we're talking about here is the average. So we're talking about the average of those 40. So if the um, sample mean is between 28 and 31. So here's 28 and here's 31. Between is shaded in between. And I'll abbreviate this. We're going to use normal CDF, our low value, comma, our high value, comma, our mean, which is 30, comma, our standard deviation, which is 5, divided by the square root of n. <clears throat> okay, let's see what that gives us. So we've got second vars, choose normal CDF, and then we got 28, comma, 31, comma, 30, comma, and then 5 divided by the square root, so second x squared of 40. And I'm going to take four decimal places. So we got 0 0.8913. Since the fifth decimal place is a four, that means we round down. Okay. Second thing we want to find is probability that our sample mean is greater than 30. Well, here's 30. Greater than would be shaded this way, which would go to E99. So we'll do our normal CDF, and then we'll put our low value, which is 30, our high value, which is E99, comma, our mean, which is 30, comma, our standard deviation, which is 5, divided by the square root of n, so square root of 40. Okay, so um, do second vars, choose normal CDF, and then we got 30, comma, E99, so second comma for the E, 99, comma, 30, comma, 5, divided by the square root of 40. And that uh, rounded to four, or four decimal places, this is a 9, so I round up, so it actually becomes 0, Point five, And then the uh, last part on that says probability that our sample mean is less than 27.5. Uh, here's 27.5, less than would be this way. And clear over here is negative infinity or negative E99. So we'll do normal CDF, negative E99, comma, our high value, which is 27.5, comma, our mean, which is 30, and then our standard deviation, which is 5, divided by the square root of n. Okay, so let's see what this gives us. So do second vars, choose normal CDF, negative, second comma for the E, 99, nine, comma, 27.5, comma, our mean, which is 30, comma, our standard deviation, which is 5, divided by second x squared for the square root, uh, square root of n, so 40, enter. Okay, so we've got point. This is uh, scientific notation. This means times 10 to the negative 4, which means I move my decimal place four places to the left. Actually, let me write. Let me write that out. Okay. We got seven point eight two seven six six. I won't write it all out. E to the negative four. That means we take our decimal point, move it four places left. This is one, and then I put in three zeros. Three. 
seven eight two seven six six so rounding it to four decimal places here's our four decimal places the place to the right is an eight so it's five or greater so we're gonna round up so we'll have point and then three zeros and then an eight okay now B B says we're changing it to 50 but then looks like we're using the same numbers Okay, so for our first one, it was between 28 and 31. So we got 28 and 31, we're shading in between. So we'll do normal CDF, our low value, which is 28, our high value, which is 31, comma our mean, which is still 30, comma our standard deviation, which is 5, divided by the square root of n. Okay, so we got second vars. We'll do normal CDF. 28, comma, 31, comma, our mean, which is 30, comma, standard deviation, which is 5, divided by square root, so second x squared, of 50. <clears throat> and then press enter. So that gives us point nine one. Nine zero or point nine one nine when rounded to four decimal places. Now, our next one was where it's greater than 30. Same picture, so I'm, I'm just drawing it just so we see the visual again. So, we're looking at the same one as right here. So, everything else is still the same. So, normal CDF 30 E99, then our mean, which is 30, and then our Standard deviation divided by the square root of n, but n is now 50. Okay, so we'll do second vars, choose normal CDF, and we got 30, comma, e, so second comma for the e, 99, nine, comma, 30, comma, 5, divided by the square root, so second x squared, of 50. And um, this rounds again to 0 0.5 because our fifth decimal place is a 9, so it's 5 or greater. So round up. And then our last one was this picture here where we got less than 27.5. So I shade in that way. And again, this is negative E99. So we got our normal CDF, negative E99. 27.5, our mean, which is 30, comma, our standard deviation, divided by the square root of n. So we'll do second vars, choose normal CDF, negative E, 99, comma, 27.5, comma, 30, comma, 5, divided by the square root of 50. And we get, um, actually right off first, 2.0315. That's probably, a, oh, one more. Uh, 1, e to the negative 4. That means, again, this scientific notation, that's times 10 to the negative 4, means we move our decimal point uh, four places to the left. So I have point zero 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 two zero three five one, And rounding it to four decimal places becomes point zero 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 two. Now, um, you can't always think that when you increase in, that your probability is going to increase. And this is a perfect example here. You see n is equal to 40, and we got 0.8913. We increased n to 50, same restrictions, and we got 0 0.9190, so it increased. But on our third case here, we came up with 0 0.0008 here, but when we increased n, we came up with 0 0.0002. 
Now, it all depends upon where your values fall or whether it increases or decreases. Some books try to try to get you to see the pattern that it's it's increasing, and they'll even ask you specifically about that pattern. But it really has nothing to do with um, is the n increases that probability increases. It's more to do with uh, the focus on uh, when you take more than your n, then your 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 probability is going to be more towards the normal values. So if I'm asking about extreme values, um, then it'll become less. If I'm asking about what's a norm, it'll become more.